All right. Video numero four. Four. Yes, it is four. Today we're going to be talking about this one god for seeking block. Get data URI of costume. This block has evaded me for the last week of development of this extension. Now, there is one reason. It is not easy to get the data of this. Unless you've made Thermo Warp. Thanks, Garbo. I really appreciate the help. Um, yeah, what this lets us do is take any sprite from any costume. And also, this is going to be a mini tutorial on the precast. And basically, add it into Pen Plus. Yeah, a pretty powerful block. So, you know, let's just add it into a list. Let's go textures. We delete all of them. And then add this. Now we're going from sprite one, which would be this thing, in costume zero. Now, costume zero would be one. So if you just want a more, I actually might do something about this on release. I'm not sure. You'll have to look in the description. But actually, you're just going to have to put in the actual costume number. I have it as zero right now because I need to add that as a feature. So you can put it in as the actual costume number. But, uh, yeah. You can get the actual image data. Now let's talk about this pre-cache texture block. What does this block do? Well, if we take that, it will basically load it into pen plus before we need to use it this also comes with one option clamp the texture which we can set to true and false now if we don't clamp the texture what will happen is we have our texture here right okay so we have our texture here and we have uv coordinates here here and here Now, if it wasn't clamped, it would just loop. So when clamped, it basically just stretches this part of the texture out to where we need it. Now, for some reason, some textures, I don't know why this happens, but some require it to be clamped to render. I, I'm not sure. But yeah. We're going to do this. Oh, not show you. Uh, when flag is clicked, let's just stamp something at our mouse. So stamp the image and let's stamp our image forever. And then let's have Let's convert mouse X to mouse Y to canvas coordinate. Which, yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Now, if we were to run this, we have the turbo warp popsicle inside of the thing. Now, I'll prove to you that this actually works. So let's just drop a quick spray. Brand new sprite right there. So this boom. It's rendering. 
Well, that should be the tutorial. Um, I will release another tutorial soon. Maybe right after this one. Talking about how we can compile these projects into our, well, into a HTML file. Or package them onto a website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Or, and or tutorial. See you next time.